Whoa, no way. It's actually Roberta? Not Kaido? Not Morgana? Not even Itachi? Dang, and here I was thinking we might get two more non-winners, but okay. To give a bit more perspective, we've been expecting Roberta eventually. To be fair, we didn't exactly know when she'd be released, but after she won the popularity poll in 2021 and was slated to have a Neovision form, we expected she'd get one before, well, the non-winners. Regardless, she's now here, and wow does she look good. It's not surprising that she's paired with her dragon, but I do admit I absolutely forgot the dragon's name. When I first read it, I was like, huh? Ignatio? <laughs> but yeah, obviously it's not him, as interesting as that might be. Now, let's talk about Roberta herself. She is not premium. Nice surprise, given I wouldn't put it past them to rate her as such. However, that also might mean her damage output might not match that of her current premium batch. To be fair, that's to be expected, but at the very least we can compare her to our non-premium Dragoons. Dragoon Kane? Sky? Uh, Reese? Sure, why not? Still, for now that's speculation, and we can draw conclusions after we've seen more. But first, let's look at what we can see, the banner. Not only is it not premium, it also features a bunch of nice bonuses. Or at least, a chance. Looking at this, going to full 6 steps will cost you 28,000 lapis, and even after that you won't have enough tickets to meet Roberta's safety net. But wait, there's another special banner below! This one looks like a performed 3 steps get the 4th step free, but it also has its own quirks. The first step, 1000 lapis, has the decency to guarantee at least 2 rainbows, and for 4 units that's not bad. However, it also doesn't actually give you a Roberta ticket, or a coin for her exchange shop. You only get those on steps 2 and 3. Step 2 is 3000 lapis for 8 summons, while step 3 is 5000 lapis for 11 summons. And then the 4th step is free, but you don't get anything but units here. However, Roberta's drop rate on the last step is increased to 2%, which seems great, but they're also only giving you 6 units there, so you don't have as great a chance as you might think. Overall, that's 9,000 lapis for two Roberta tickets, meaning if you combine that with the previous banner, you'll need to spend 18,000 lapis for four tickets. Add that with the 28,000 lapis spent last time, and you have to spend a total of 46,000 lapis for one Roberta. You know, worst case scenario. On an off note, the minimum could actually be 45,000 lapis, by virtue of ignoring the last step of the more expensive banner for the regular Moti summon, but personally, I do think the extra lapis is worth it. Of course, it's not fair to ignore the specifics of the more expensive banner, so let's revisit that. The first two steps are discounted 11 summons which likely won't net you Roberta. The third step actually gives you full rainbows, and then steps 4 to 6 will guarantee at least one Neo Vision each step of the way. Step 4 is a 2% chance, which is slightly better than 1 to 99. Step 5 raises that to 5%, which, as you all know, I've seen before. And then finally, step 6 raises that chance to 10%, your best chance and worst nightmare. In return, it also gives you this special vision card, more details on that later. So let's look at Roberta. Her first form is a supporter and a magic damage dealer. Now when you think Roberta you don't really think magic damage dealer, especially if she had zero affinity to magic. But for whatever reason, she did have 3 moves with some dragon related magic. Looking back, it's likely because she was paired with said dragon in the first place. Perhaps more interesting though is the support part, as the original Roberta had no support to speak of. If you look at her dragon's triple magic, maybe we should somehow imbue her team, and I think that would be a cool addition. But you know what's really cool? Her true brave shift! I have no idea how this happened, but it seems she's merged with her dragon. How did this happen? In this form, she's still a supporter, but she also went from magical to physical. We'll see more details later, but for now we can take a look at her bonuses. The vision card, at a glance, has very good stats. Her Trustmaster reward, a Materia, seems kind of average, due to its split effects, but it can also really help someone who wants to be a Dragoon. Her Super Trustmaster reward is a Hybrid Spear. It doesn't seem to be two-handed, meaning Roberta herself might be a dual-wielding Dragoon. It's not extraordinarily promising at the moment, but to be fair, the Spear is pretty good. High stats, bonus flat stats for Roberta, and it increases the damage modifier of who knows what. That effect also seems stackable, so you might be able to carry two of the same Spear for double the effect. Anyone else who isn't Roberta might not get the extra stats, but they still got jump damage and double human killers, which is definitely very strong. Now, a sneak peek on her abilities. The first one self-chains, use non-elemental magic damage, scales of morale, and throws her limit burst gauge. 
The second one uses a given amount of Lemma Burst Crystals to inflict a spear in peril, buffs your team's accuracy, and boosts the damage modifier of again, I can't say for certain. However, at the moment, we can see that there's no elements, so it's time to speculate. So far, Roberta's main competition will be Dragoon Kane, Clash of Will Sky, and, well, Reese might do a lot, but let's just focus on Kane and Sky. Now, the general format for damage dealers is the newest is strongest, which is generally a trend that can be followed. However, we have seen a notable exception in the past, Final Fantasy XV. There, Cobalt Blade Noctis and Crimson Blade Arden had practically similar playstyles. However, Arden was changed to a non-elemental damage dealer, while Noctis was locked to light. In exchange for that flexibility though, Arden was admittedly a bit weaker. With that in mind, I believe we'll see a similar pattern here. Roberta may be weaker than Dragoon Kane, but that flexibility might also give her another edge. With that in mind, I do think Clash of Wills can make her even stronger than Kane, depending on her morale level, but of course outside of it you're not getting that buff. Sky is also element locked, at least when it comes to jumping, but given the length of time I do think Roberta should be a bit stronger. Of course, when it comes to wind, who knows? Clash of Wills, it's Audebla! Jokes aside, it's actually named after a constellation, which I think is really cool. On a less serious note, it's also a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Equipment Enhancement Event The featured event this time seems to be a katana, but it doesn't seem to have anything to do with Roberta. Future Neo Vision Kaido? The weapon itself does seem like it makes an effort to help against Audubla, so I mean both have an equal chance. Vision Cards First is Roberta's natural card. It has high attack and magic, making it pretty good for a whole bunch of units. As for its passives, we have some HP, MP, and a decent amount of attack and magic. Finally, for the final passive, it's a double dragon killer, though only for units from Final Fantasy Brave Exodus. Second, the special vision card, Bond with the Crimson Dragon. In terms of stats, it's actually weaker than the first vision card. However, it makes up for that with bonus flat stats, elemental resistance, attack and magic boosts, and when equipped onto units from Final Fantasy Brave Exodus, jump damage. With the flat stats, it's already a pretty good card, but then the elemental resistance isn't limited. The stat boosts help a lot of damage dealers, and though the jump damage is limited, not too many units worry about it in the first place. Overall, a nice addition. The elemental resistance isn't particularly potent, but the card's stats makes it one of the few vision cards that don't take anything away in exchange for some defensive utility. Exchange Shot This time, it's actually notable. Last Guardian is obviously very strong, but what you should really be looking at is Life for the Purge. This was a limited materia only available through a very not worth it banner. I highly suggest picking it up if you can, as there is currently no other way to get it. And that pretty much sums it up. Non-premium Roberta, but still a very enticing banner. Special vision card, limited materia, a bunch of units that probably aren't Roberta, but still it's not a very easy decision. There's the buff Dark Rain, there's the upcoming Knights of Grand Shout, there's Reagan but Dark, these two, and Premium Fina which probably also needs some kind of additional appeal. Thankfully, in these dire times we can always look to free Golden Riser for some respite. Now if only they'd give me more tickets. <laughs>